Oh my goodness. Sorry. It's just Instagram. I've got so many messages about yesterday that it's very easily to get distracted. Anyway, let's put that away. I'm having to talk to you today because the big grand plans I had of vlogging my journey down to London yesterday did not go to plan at all. Uh, I kind of had all these amazing ideas of like, oh, I'm going to be really creative, I'm going to start shooting the city, I'm going to do sort of like a bit of street video and, and capture kind of like the excitement and buzz that London can bring when you're from outside of it and you're coming in. And then the train was over half an hour late because of safety issues and so all those grand plans kind of did not happen. So there's a bit, probably, I've not even looked at the footage yet, but there's going to be lots of wobbly shots of me trying to walk around racing to get where I was because I was running late. So I'm going to show you a little bit of that now and then we'll come back and I'll give you a little bit of insight into what the event was about and what we're hoping to get from future events. <laughs> Yesterday, let's talk about yesterday. My goodness me, mind blown. I just can't believe that something like that I got invited to. Well, I can. What? See, when I say I can, it makes me sound big headed because I'm like, well, of course I can. I mean, I've been doing this for 10 years. Of course I've got all this knowledge to share. And I'm like, no, you sound like an idiot. Um, but then actually, no, I. it was good. And I had experience and I had stuff to share. And oh, it was just, it was really rewarding to have so many women turn up and listen to what we had to say, but also ask really interesting engaging questions afterwards and being able to answer that and kind of hope that you help them in some way to just get along their journey a little bit quicker because 10 years is a long time for anyone to have to work really hard to get somewhere and I feel like I have this stuff that I want to share with people and it felt really really good to do that so I'm very grateful for Emma who got to put me forward from Story Go Day and also the photography show that accepted me on that panel to do that and I am now an official ambassador for the Women Who Photo and Film campaign that will be at the photography show again this year and it means we're going to do a panel talk there and just kind of be a face for women in the industry and give a women a voice I guess because I mean I don't know about you if you've been to the photography show in Birmingham but before I went um, it had quite a reputation for being very male dominated and very heavily focused on gear and what toys to buy and it's not like that at all. I've been going three years now, um, and the last two years I've actually gone for two days because I just felt there was so much content to soak in and so many things to see. I wanted to really take the time to do that and network and, and meet people as well. And I'm doing a lot with my hands. <laughs> so I encourage you to consider going this year if you've not been before. Ignore what people are saying and see for yourself. Not only will I and a lot of the girls from the panel be talking again, be like a mini version of this time because that was two hours yesterday, but we'll also um, be lots of other events. There's a social stage, there's lots of things about social media and how to engage with people on there. There's other professionals from different industries, from like landscape to weddings to portraits to family to I think people like shooting on their mobile phones. There's, I mean, I haven't even gone through everyone that's going to be there to pick what I want to do yet. I decide what days are going to be. But I'm going to be there on the Monday. So basically, yeah, go. I'd like to see you there. And if you're going, comment and just kind of we'll figure out if there's a way of catching up at some point of the show and let me know what you're thinking of going to see. And then hopefully we can just all have a fucking awesome time. It's it's so much better than people used to paint it out to be. And this Women Who Photo and Film campaign is going to be so good for kind of raising the profile of a lot of women in the industry. And the hair's falling out. Raising the profile of a lot of women in the industry. And I think that can only be a good thing. It's not man bashing. It's just making us have a voice. And I think, especially as a woman who's not of the alpha type, and I am just want to be me, <laughs> 
it's a good way to kind of give you more confidence to be able to speak up. I think a lot of, especially with it being a, a very women heavy event yesterday, it gave people the confidence to feel they had a voice to raise their hand and ask a question. And I really like that. I know that it can be a big thing to put your hand up and ask that person that question. So yeah, it was good. But yeah, sorry the vlog didn't turn out as cool as I hoped it to be. Thanks for watching this, me talking again. And hopefully I'm gonna make more effort to do something a bit more, I don't know, I don't even know where this is going. I just wanna do, just wanna keep doing this. And the more I do it, the more it would be uh, a confidence boost for me and being able to put content out there. But the more I hope that I can share stuff that you guys really enjoy watching. So if you have any ideas, please tell me because that will really help my creative juices flowing. Um, but yeah, until next time, I'll see you then.